inside Watch me reach up, pull the sun from the sky I'm all done waiting for life to arrive I'm gonna make, make today my Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, our channel at the moment is basically based on our move to Canada. And um, please excuse me, I normally wear sunglasses out and it's killing me not having glasses on, but I thought I would not wear them. Oh, you got makeup on for the video. Anyway, so uh, today's video is based on um, a little bit more in depth into what we're doing to get across to Canada from Australia. Uh, we've got four weeks and three days until we move. Um, pretty crazy, especially during during COVID. A little backstory: we're um, moving from Perth, Western Australia. Well, not Perth. We live out in the country in the wheat belt to British Columbia, Canada, to go work on a remote cattle and horse ranch. Very, very exciting times. We've got lots of videos based on um, a bit more detail into that, which I'll link up here, as well as our trip to Canada, Alberta in 2019. All right, so let's dive into it. So one of the biggest thing with moving abroad is obviously selling all of your items and deciding whether or not you're gonna take just a suitcase or whether you're going to take a whole bunch of items and get them shipped over. For us, it made more sense to just take two suitcases each, two 23 kilo suitcases. And so therefore we're selling everything off. And today we're having a garage sale. I don't know whether that's something that you just do in Australia, but basically <laughs> pull all your stuff out, all the stuff from inside as well. This is just, just the shed stuff. And um, advertise it on Gumtree and Facebook and stuff. And people rock up to your place throughout that time period. We've said from, what is it, nine till three. And yeah, hopefully people buy your stuff. I still need to bring out all the kids' toys. Basically, this garage sale is kid-based. We've been selling most of the tools and horse gear and all that stuff, sorry, the flies, um, for the last few weeks. I do have a few horse rugs down here, as you can see, and we've got camping gear and fishing gear and farming gear and all that stuff, but not a lot left. Um, this area under here we're going to be putting... I've got to go do it now, actually. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning, but... Um, put all the toys out ready for the people to come for 9 a.m. So anyway, I better go inside, start bringing out all of the kids' toys and everything to put in this area down here um, before people start rocking up. I, we don't know whether people actually are going to turn up. We do live quite remote. We live two hours from the city nearly. Um, and for 15, 20 minutes from town, and people seem to think that's quite far. So I guess it sort of is if you want to just pop into a garage sale on the weekend, but my aim is to put all the toys out here and then take photos and chat them up on Facebook again this morning on our local pages just to say, hey, look, remember we're having a garage sale and stick around the house and hopefully people rock up today. Okay, guys, so somebody's here to pick up Tilly's bed. It feels really weird having this whole empty room, but this is what it's going to look like in the next couple of weeks, us laying on mattresses on the floor to go to sleep because, well, we're obviously not taking beds to Canada. Still got our bedroom, it looks like a tip to sell all our furniture, but um, yeah, we're slowly getting there. Made a bit of money from our garage sale too. Good morning guys, obviously it's a whole another day, um, different wardrobe. Um, been up since 3.30 with Riley, he's just not sleeping at the moment. But we are off to take the dogs to go and get vaccinated because they need their vaccinations, C5 vaccinations, ready for um, flying out to Canada for their flights and for the kenneling. There's Wolf down there. He's about to come with us. And um, yeah, that's Wolf. Just Wolf and Harley are going to get vaccinated because I mentioned about Turbo in the last video. I won't get into that again. Um, so yeah, they're getting their C5 vaccinations today in town. Plus Harley, our border collie, is on uh, thyroid and um, arthritic medication. So she needs to go and get a blood test done just to make sure that um, what she's on at the moment is the right dose and then once we get that checked we will get uh, You know quite a, quite a lot made up So then when we fly over there, we've got enough to tie us over until we get to um, Vancouver I can't get my words out. I'm so tired till we get to Vancouver and find another vet that can do blood tests and check again, but 
that's what we're doing today and I did say to you guys we would incorporate the dogs in part of our moving to Canada videos and everything sorry I'm just so tired if it sounds so spaced out but I mean god 3 30 and that's what time is it nine o'clock so I'm gonna go go to go take the dogs and I'll keep you guys updated in you go Harley Oh, oh. Okay guys, we just got in the car with the dogs and I was like, what the hell is that smell? I think Harley's rolled in something that was dead, like... Harley, it is so bad, save us. Okay guys, so that drive was absolutely disgusting. Um, I, I went, as soon as I got in the car, I could smell this horrible dead smell. Uh, it's not like roadkill and then it ended up being harley and she must have when we we let her out this morning she's gone off and rolled in something it was horrible drive wasn't it but we're at the vet now you can see there and um we better go in but it's so embarrassing in front of the vet taking her in like that they're gonna think that we just I let them smell like it. that <laughs> what's he doing what are you doing Gotta get your um Harley. Okay, so we just got out the vets. Connor's still in there with Wolf getting his vaccinations and checked for that. Um he's got something else. But um we've just spoken to the vet about Harley and she's got a few bowel issues which I won't go into, it's really quite yucky. And um thyroid and really, really sore back legs. The the strong medication she's on is not helping her arthritis. So the vet suggested that her quality of life isn't so great. And I think we're going to have to Why? put her down before we go to Canada. So that would mean her and Turbo getting put down because Turbo's got a um, aggressive tumour in his leg. Very aggressive. So that's the horrible news we just got. Alright, so we just left the um, vet. We just at, <laughs> we're just at the dog wash. So we're going to give them a wash. Harley stinks still. And um, yeah have to make that decision of Harley later on but I think that we're going to have to if it's the vet's recommendation then I don't think many vets told them oh he just weed on me Harley he literally just weed on me and uh, and is that a shampoo wouldn't you rinse first it's got rinse in it with the shampoo in the rinse make sure you get a butt <laughs> Yeah, I know what to do. Well. Hey guys, it's now the next day and um, I guess we should touch base on everything that happened at the vet. Um, it's not something we're going to be making a decision on lightly. Um, we've got to up Harley's medication for the next two weeks and see how she goes and then we'll make our decision then. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just blocking it out and trying to get on with all of our plans with moving. It's just another obstacle in our way. And um, yeah, not a nice situation to have to go through. Anyway, I'm currently in our lounge room. These are our Ikea um, lounges and they're actually quite cool because you can take all the um the outside of them off there's the other one there you can take the outsides off but I need to unbolt them on the ends here to take them off to wash them so then I can put them up for sale because at the moment they've got lots of stains from having kids on them so going to do that I've also got the ottoman here to do um pretty cool that you can do that because well we should be able to get a little bit more for them knowing that we don't have to go and pay for somebody to clean them. So Connor's at the gym right now so that's why I thought I'd jump in here while I was doing this. Good lighting and just thought I would uh, let you guys know about everything that we're doing with the dogs at the moment. We've booked them in for a kennel um, knowing now that it may not be the two it might just be the one going to the kennel. Our plan is that we fly out on the 24th of February. On the 20th of Feb we are taking the dogs or the dog to the um, kennel in Perth area and it's sort of close to the airport that way once we get some a company to fly the dogs over to Vancouver it's not far for them to go and pick the dogs up 
from the kennel and we won't get a charge like extra fees or anything. The plan is that the dogs will go to the kennel on the 20th of Feb. We are leaving this house on the 21st of Feb. We'll have everything out of the house. The whole house will be cleaned because it is a rental. And then um, we have booked in at, it's actually a caravan park, but it's got chalets in it. And it has double beds and, um, bump beds, sorry, and queen beds for us. It's got a pool there. It's right close to the beach. Um, it's got a playground, a pond with ducks and everything. So we thought that was pretty cool. It's quite cheap to stay there. Um, and my dad's going to come and stay with us as well for a night or two before we go so we can say a proper goodbye to him. So our whole plan of getting to the airport is on the 21st we leave here, we go to our chalet that we're staying at. Um, we will be taking my dad's trailer with Connor's work car down to the chalet with eight suitcases in it. And then we will leave the trailer with the eight suitcases with myself at the chalet and Connor's going to take his work vehicle back to work because that will be his last day of work. And then he'll catch an Uber car back to the chalets. So now we'll be at the chalet without any car. We'll have the cup, the kids' car seats with us, the trailer and the eight suitcases. And then my dad's going to come down the day after and stay with us for two nights in the chalet to just spend time with us. And then he will use his car to hitch on the trailer and then drive us to the airport. So yeah, that's the plan so far. Um, I'm hoping that I've answered your guys' questions. We have been doing um, lots of packing and going through things, obviously the garage sale and sorting through all of our items. A big thing was going through family photo albums. I've gone through the photo albums and I still have more to go through. Um, and look through, figure out which ones I want to take with me. I'm talk not talking about recent photos. I'm talking about like photos of when I was a kid because, well, they're not on Facebook. I can't just go and grab them and recopy them. So doing that at the moment, whatever ones I'm not keeping, I'm giving to my sister and my dad. I've also been keeping track of everything that I'm doing on an app called Trello. Um, it's a free app that I found on my phone and it also syncs to my Mac. And it's just um, like a sort of like a calendar, but not, not a calendar. It's like a to-do list. And once I've done something like book the dog's flights or something, I'll drag it across to the done list or whatever. Um, it's just helping me stay focused. Sorry, this camera is completely on an angle. It's helping me um, stay on track with everything. I'm really stressed. All of like everyone would be stressed moving abroad, but with COVID and now the dog thing and everything, it's just very, very, very stressful. So making lists is my thing. I'm like Monica from Friends. Lots and lots of lists of lists of lists, and um, which is I've got one here. <laughs> um, and yeah, we, I've just been doing that to keep on track. I also forgot to mention that we actually sold the car, so that was fantastic. Um, somebody came all the way out here and bought it, got what we wanted as well. So that was a huge ticket item that we wanted to be sold. And now most of the stuff that we need to sell is just small things like, well, not small things, but things that we're not really, it's not worth a huge amount of money that we're too worried about. The worst case, if we don't sell it, we can give it to Goodwill or Leave it in my dad's shed and when my sister comes back for, to Australia from Canada, she can have it. So it's just the couch with the ottoman and the fridge and the washing machine and then our bedding. So our bedside tables, our drawers and our bed. The mattress that we have in my room is my dad's anyway. We borrowed it instead of buying a new one because we knew we were moving. And oh, Tilly's mattress we need to sell too. But that's a sort of a hard thing to sell because it's something you sell like the last day you don't want to be laying on the floor so if it doesn't sell we'll leave it at my dad's shed on his farm and my sister will have it when they get back it's the next day and we have sold our bed I can't believe it so um we sold it on Marketplace. Sorry, this room's really bad for lighting. We sold it on Marketplace on Facebook last night and we've gotten up super early this morning to undo the whole bed and now I am just dusting it. But take a look at our room. It looks like a bomb's hit it. Oh, there's Riley being a cat. Got the mattress up there. It's just crazy. TV. All our clothes we've just dumped out of all the drawers. Yes, we can see you. Where's Riley? <laughs> you little kitty cat. <laughs> You're so funny. So yesterday I spent the day going through all of the kids' art. I have literally saved all of the artwork they've done since they were born and I had it just in this big box and I just threw it in there. 
and I didn't know what to do with it. So I actually went through and I took th all these photos of them and I set up the kids their own Hotmail accounts and I have taken photos of all of their artwork and then I have sent all those photos to their own individual Hotmail accounts. So that way we don't have to take it all to Canada but we haven't completely lost it. And then I'm going to pick a few little pieces of of their artwork just to take with us and put in a little scrapbook. So we've got some originals with us. What are you doing, you muppet? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so I've moved over to the mattress because it's a little bit better lighting. But anyway, please excuse the little kitty cat in the back. Okay, so a few of you have asked um, whether or not we've sold the kids toys and how the kids have dealt with it. And pretty much from the beginning we explained to Tilly that we're going to be selling most of her toys because we're only taking two suitcases each and they could choose their favorite ones and their most memorable ones like the ones they sleep with and everything and they've been really good I've been very surprised there's been maybe one time she had a bit of a tear because we sold one of her big items that we definitely couldn't have taken to Canada but we've always been up front with her and said to her that as soon as they get to Canada we can grab a trolley and go to Walmart or wherever we shop and they can just fill the trolley up with toys. So that's what they've always been under the impression of and it's kept them going and they actually tell us, oh, we should sell this one so we can get more money to go and buy more toys. So yeah, it's been, it's been pretty good. So another way that I've been keeping all our documents together, like flights, um, visas, ETAs, ESTAs, which is the US visa we had to get, um, all the accommodation, all of my references that I need for the visa that I'm going for, um, the LMIA, the job offer, everything that we need and that we think we might have to show at the border. We, at the border is in at the airport when we arrive in Canada. I've been putting into one single folder on the Mac computer and then just before we leave, I'm gonna get them all printed out. I know a lot of people don't usually print them out. They usually just show it on their phone, but I just feel like I'm a bit old school and want it printed out just in case. As far as flights and everything have gone, we've been really watching the news. Um, at one point, I think I explained earlier in an earlier video or this video, I can't remember now, it's all molded together. But um, basically LA it was a place that we were landing in and staying overnight. And then the um, rules changed and we had to quarantine there for 10 days once we landed. So yeah, because of the whole quarantine thing in LA, we changed our flights from Perth to Sydney, Sydney to LA, LA to Dallas, Dallas to Seattle, then stay a night in Seattle, and then the next day fly to Vancouver. But now the rules have changed again since Biden's now president, and now any international flight that lands into America has to quarantine for, it's either 10 or 14 days, I'm still trying to find that out. And we don't know whether or not we count as having to quarantine because we land and then we have to check out and grab our bags and then check back in, but we're still in the airport. So I don't know whether that counts as like, yes, now you've got to leave the airport and quarantine or we can just connect back onto a separate flight. The tickets are separately bought, that's the thing. So that's why we have to leave that area, grab our bags and check back in. So I, I don't know, and I've tried calling airlines, I've tried calling travel agents, I've tried, I've emailed the Seattle um, government page and I've had no response. So I'm hoping before now and then we'll get a bit of a clearer picture of what's going to happen. It's obviously a good thing that it's happening for America, but it's pretty shitty for our <laughs> travels because it's costing us a fortune to change flights all the time. So that's pretty much all the updates we've got at the moment guys we've just been selling everything as we go and I just thought I'd do this video a little bit differently um probably was a bit all over the place I know but it's hard to try and keep up with planning vlogs when you're moving abroad and especially through COVID so I hope you guys have enjoyed it the next video that you guys will see will be us pretty much going to our Airbnb which we have hired or it's a chalet for um three days before we fly out to Sydney and we'll probably start our travel vlog from there on. So keep us in your thoughts. Hopefully COVID doesn't ruin anything anymore. And hopefully you guys will see us on the plane heading to Sydney. See you guys. Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday through. Thursday and Friday and Saturday too. We look for a home that is just right for you. Monday through Sunday and the whole week